As an add-on to our ongoing video series about microtonality, we thought it would be useful to discuss some of the specifically microtonal terminology, just to get on the same page. This won't be a comprehensive guide to all things microtonal. Rather, it's a collection of terms that we use to communicate our ideas to each other, and hopefully you. Microtonality, xenharmonic, polychromatic. Everything that's not the 12 notes used in Western music cultures. Overtone series. A physical property of any note is that it has an infinite series of notes that are multiples of its fundamental frequency. This series of overtones, or harmonics, is responsible for an instrument's timbre. Interestingly, it also lays the foundation for harmony. The first five notes in the harmonic series form a major triad. Each interval in the series can be expressed as a whole number ratio. The lower the ratio between the frequencies of two notes, the more consonant they sound. The first intervals of the overtone series sound very familiar to Western ears. The higher up we go though, the more complex the ratios become and the more they start to sound alien to us. The inversion of the overtone series is the undertone series. If you tune your intervals to these harmonic series, you play in just intonation. However, a number of mathematical issues arise when you try to play in different key signatures using only the harmonic series. Extat, ex edo. In order to make transpositions possible, different tuning systems divide an interval, mostly the octave, into equal parts. Edo is short for equally divided octave, and tet stands for tone equal temperament. In the West, and everywhere else on Earth where Western principles dominate, 12 tet is the standard tuning system. 12 tet. It's everywhere. Musicians in China actually came up with it first, but somehow no one gives them credit for it. It's so omnipresent that it's difficult to notice its imperfections, kind of like the Matrix. But once you took the blue pill and listened to a third tuned to the overtone series, it's difficult to ignore. At least for us. 12 tet is actually so ubiquitous that the most common unit used to describe pitch deviation, the cent, is derived from it. Cent. 100 cent make up one semitone in 12 tet, so 1200 cent are an octave. Cents are used to describe deviations from the 12 tet system. Most people can easily distinguish notes up to about 5 cents difference. 24 tet. Doubling 12 tet results in a pitch grid whose smallest step size is half a semitone, a quarter tone. The thing is, even dividing the octave into 24 steps will only give you crude approximations for most overtones. Divisions of a whole tone. Whole tone. Some Greek guy cut an octave in six pieces and said, this is a whole tone. All right, said the world. Whole tones can be found in the overtone series too. The most common are the ratios nine to eight and 10 to nine. Semitone, half a 12 tet whole tone. Because 12 tet is so prevalent nowadays, the most common semitone is, as we mentioned, a hundred cent in size. But different tuning systems can also use semitones up to around 120 or down to around 80 cent. Quarter tone. Half a 12 tet semitone, so 50 cents. Used to notate a lot of non-Western scales and melodies, although they often deviate from equal temperament in practice. Fifth tone. Diesis. A whole tone can also be divided into five fifth tones, resulting in two differently sized semitones, as we can't split the whole tone down the middle anymore. This subdivision lets us distinguish between a diatonic E to F, three fifth tones, and a chromatic semitone, E to E sharp, two fifth tones. Thus, formally and harmonically equivalent notes are now distinct pitches. A tuning system using fifth tones is quarter comma mean tone. One of many historic tuning systems, this one was the most popular in the 16th and 17th century in Europe. Its goal was better thirds, so the fifths were lowered by a quarter of a syntonic comma. A syntonic comma is the difference between stacking four pure fifths and comparing it to a pure major third, so approximately five cent instead of for example two cent and twelve tet. These fifths were then used to tune a twelve tone keyboard, which resulted in an incomplete circle of fifths, so some intervals would sound a lot better than others. 
31 Ted completes this circle by filling in the missing pitches. 31 Ted, our current favorite. Cramming more and more notes into the octave will always impact memorability and especially physical playability, but we feel like 31 strikes a nice balance. This tuning system is a beautiful compromise between the overtone series and chromaticism. We get to keep all our beloved intervals from 12 tet, just with better intonation, and even some new ones on top. And, although there are more pitches to define, we can use common accidentals to describe them all. Comma. When some other Greek guy piled just fifths on top of each other, he noticed that after 12 iterations he was tantalizingly close to its starting note. He overshot it only by a tiny bit. The discrepancy between the two notes, 23.46 cent, is called the Pythagorean comma. 12 tet divides this comma into 12 pieces and subtracts it evenly from the 12 generated pitches. This way, the infinite spiral of fifths becomes a generic circle of fifths. Syntonic. As mentioned earlier, the syntonic comma is the difference between a pitch that was generated by stacking four pure fifths on top of each other compared to a third with a 5 to 4 ratio. There are many, many other commas. Check them out on the Zen Harmonic Wiki if you want to go down that rabbit hole. You can notate microtones in many different ways, so we'll only divulge which ones we use and how we call them. We wanted to have monosyllabic words to describe the new pitch deviations, so we came up with new words we thought were the most fitting. Shed. If you want to go in the sharp direction, just a little flatter. Flop. If you want to go in the flat direction, just a little sharper. We used these accidentals in 24 and 31 TED to move a note up or down by a quarter or a fifth tone, respectively. Fries. If you want to go in the sharp direction, just a little sharper. Heart. If you want to go in the flat direction, just a little flatter. The names for these accidentals are obviously inspired by their looks. We use them in 24 and 31 tet to move a note up or down by three, quarter or fifth tones respectively. We hope this video helped you along on your microtonal journey. If you like what we do here and want to keep exploring with us, we'd be very grateful for your support on Patreon. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.